Dogs represent Solomon Island people say We people sound originally from my homeland Like my old man say There's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew Out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have to step up for the past 20 is calling What's that? No one can stop Ain't nobody gonna stop us People, everybody Would you listen to us for a start? No boy complaining And that's me partaking We represent the fall of the ones falling We resemble true art When we bust the light Flip the rabbits from the heart No, there's never gonna be another Everybody's Previously on Delos Frida and Max join his new crew Delos is taken out of the ocean And the crew spend an intense five days of hard work Bong, 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 bong. Attention all passengers Flight, Flight AK2132, AK Lankawi, is boarding, is boarding at gate, gate B1. B1. Kia ora friends and family, Bubsy here. Yosha Brady and I travelled 30 hours from New Zealand and we finally arrived in Malaysia. This is me, Bubs or Bubsy, one of the Leighton sisters. I have been travelling for over four years and I was just about to embark on a sailing trip across the Indian Ocean. I was buzzing to start this adventure and I couldn't wait to meet the rest of the Dallas crew. What's going on guys? It's chilly in the backseat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going to the airport to pick up the rest of the crew. So we're really excited. Yeah. It's going to be good. This is Arnold, my mum's brother from Holland. Him and his wife Kobe have been sailing for over a decade now on their boat Drifter. The last time I had seen them both was four years ago, and I had no idea that they were in the airport. What an amazing surprise. <laughs> yes, yeah, what a yeah, coincidence. Yeah, yeah. Hope you see you too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. to see you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, be like, hey, so. <laughs> so this was it. The crew is now complete. And it felt so unreal. When I met Dallas, she was even more beautiful than I had imagined. I remember walking inside for the first time and thinking, Whoa, this is my new home. And I'm pretty sure I forgot about my jet lag. We noticed our brand new sails were not properly sewn, so we all got into fixing mode and did some old school hand sewing. With a few sundowners, of course. Big support group over here. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's watching Karen so like, yeah, go for it. How does it feel, guys? Really good. Time to go sailing. Let me get off the dock. So we did a last minute clean, got Dallas all ready, and left Reebok Marina. We were off to Talaga Harbour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bye bye! Marina office, Marina office, this is Dallas. We've just cleared the dock, we're just out of the marina now. Just understand the loss from D22 completed. Uh, thank you, have good selling and about my six months. Yes, that loss. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> We're out. It's really good. It always feels so awesome to leave the marina, even though we were only there for like a week. It was just really intense, you know, working all day, just projects, projects, projects. And now we can go anchor by a sweet beach and use our dinghy to go places and it's kind of like cruising style so like everybody's really excited to be out there. Brady got straight into teaching us newbies how to coil a line. And then we take a, a little bit of it like that through the center. Yeah we're gonna take that out and, then feed, and then feed that through there so that way you have oh. yeah and you can kind of just carry it by that that's nice and easy. And then we're gonna that. Uh, those are gonna be up forward here on the I don't know what side has the room but even though the trip was just under an hour, it felt so good to be cruising on Dallas for the first time. Oh, oh. 
With our new sails in tip-top shape, we spent the morning taking down the old main and putting up the new one. Nice one, team. So here we were. We arrived in the beautiful Talaga Harbour and we decided to spend the rest of the afternoon talking about upcoming Dallas projects. So maybe we'll talk about stuff that we need to do before leaving here. Yep. What we really want to do is we want to use Instagram yep. and Facebook and Twitter to boost and Google Plus yeah. to send people here. Yeah. And some good old passage planning. I really love this famous Dallas quote. Who wants a beer? Ah, uh, it's Kiwi time. I had the honours of putting up the New Zealand flag next to the Swedish one. So along with the huge American flag by the stern, we're now officially a very diverse boat. Go Kiwis! Job. Job. There's Kiwis now. With the projects out of the way, it was now time for some fun. This was it, our first step at this 8,000 mile journey across the Indian Ocean. To finally all be together, it felt so good. And I remember sitting at the beach, sipping on a beer and my toes in the sand thinking, life is good. You know those moments when it hits you and you realize where you are and how awesome life is? I often get these feelings on my travels. You don't know what tomorrow will bring and it's pretty exciting because it makes life a little more edgy. But before we could start this journey, we had to stock up Delos with as much food and drinks as possible. So the next day was provisioning day. We've never had a crew of seven before, so when we all crammed into Maggie, we got some pretty strange but intrigued looks. A crew of seven also requires two rental cars, and it was surprisingly easy. Pretty easy system, you just give them your boat there, and then you get keys. So off we went on our way to the city of Kua. Man, we were only in Malaysia for two days and we got straight into it. Delos loves their beer and wine and knowing Langkawi is a duty-free island with beers for only 60 US cents each, our first stop was to the liquor store. The price list is up there. The size is pretty cheap too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would, these you would have things like if you have like a night you want that you would drink on the beach. You can even sort of mix that with a bit of water if you want to make it last longer. Dilute it. I like it. We've done the calculations and we need to double everything. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> 20, 20 what? Uh, maybe 2 Yeah, that's a bread. 45 litres. 45 litres. <laughs> <laughs> I say we get one more and make it an even 50. Yeah, yeah. it feels better. <laughs> We didn't recognise the wine brands, so we bought one cask of red wine, and us ladies decided to have a little wine tasting. We're going to buy like 100 litres of wine, so before we do this, I would like to taste how bad it is. What was it like? <laughs> no comment. It's it's very light, like it's super sweet, right? It's not like a red wine. Can I try it? Ten bucks. If yeah. it's like, mm. but it would be good to find something a little bit more darker. red wineish. It's very sweet because it's only nine percent, right? How oh wow, that's really light. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. So it's nearly not drinkable, is it? Should we go down to the other store, see if, see what other ones I've got? Mm -hmm. and Do a wine tasting there and sort of... <laughs> yeah, compare and then we can compare taste and yeah, price. Yeah. So with our wine tasting done, the beers were all ready to be loaded into the cars. Next on the list, my favourite. Mmm, chocolat. What do you reckon? There's so many chocolates. <laughs> What do you reckon, guys? Have we got enough chocolate? Yeah. I don't think so. The thing is, it's just like Maybe. so hard. We just want to be able to fit them in a mouth. Like, yeah. we can't put everything in the freezer. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. this one looked good. Oh, oh New Zealand yeah. one. It's really 
good. Are they all good? They're yeah. real good, yeah. These ones. Oh, oh yeah. Ones. These ones. They're quite, that's quite nice, isn't it? Shall we take a few of these? Yeah. Let's load up the cars. The Malay people were super nice and helped us load all the beer cases. Hey, how much beer did we get, Brion? <laughs> I don't know. A lot. <laughs> as much as we could get. <laughs> oh, yeah. How much? Give us a guesstimation. Individual beers or cases? Uh, individual beers. 900. 924. 924. 924. 924. Yeah, okay, 924. We're doing a little competition. How many individual beers do you think we have? I'm gonna go with 720. Okay, sweet. Do a random yeah. guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. 600? 600? Wait, wait, wait. I would say about a thousand. Right. Nice. What did you get? I can't say. Oh, I already wrote mine down. 800? 800? Okay. I don't even know. What that is. What do you think, yeah, I would say like 600. I think it's true. Uh, 650. 650. 650. Yeah. No. What is that? No. 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 <laughs> no. What was that? No. 650. 650. Yeah. What's your guess of how many individual cans of beer we got? Yeah. 820? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have very good news. We bought all that beer and it was only $778. So we're actually under budget by almost $200. <laughs> and it's going to have to last us for the next seven months. So, <laughs> so thank you so much yeah. for buying us a beer. We love it. We love it. <laughs> So knowing we could spend a little more on alcohol, we got more. And Jesus, we got more. We make our own moonshine on Dallas, but there's some liquor that's really hard to make. So we got a few naughty bottles. That's dangerous. Absolutely. For a good trip? Yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong. So we chucked a party in the car and went on our second mission, food. We found Lucky Frozen! Yeah, we found it! That's why we... yeah! <laughs> we found Lucky Frozen! We found, found Lucky, Lucky Frozen! Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling like hungry sailors, we stopped in for a quick lunch break. <laughs> I feel like we're a tour group or something. I think we should go through all the dive gear and then do it. <laughs> like <laughs> We were all full and energized and we we're ready to stock up some trolleys. These supermarkets were so bright and colourful and the selections were crazy. You guys are getting uh, all the mystery stuff. So okay. cereal, wholemeal, puff fries, mm -hmm. not dry fruit. I can do the fresh stuff. Brian, you can go for the chickpea, sweet corn, mini corn, olive, like any can. Canned vegetables. Canned vegetables. Okay. And yeah, the milk. Me. Real 100% juice. No sugar, no preservative. We can mix it with the rum, huh? Oh yeah, and we've got enough couscous to feed all of that. There's a lot of couscous, brother. Mate, there's even more down here. Really? <laughs> couscous and juice, bro, we're sorted. Get some weird jelly stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna bring that. <laughs> Shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> Ice honey. I can't fucking decide, they're like all over the place. <laughs> We're coming up with a stationary book for the Delos folder. Mm -hmm. And look at these. Floss. <laughs> Gotta keep some teeth healthy. Just found my art stuff. Oh shit. Yeah. So I'm just stocking up on all the things. They have pretty good selection though for being here. Like quality of paper and stuff. 
This is pretty good. I'm gonna get one of these. Does anybody want to play the guessing game? How much it's gonna be? It's gonna cost three thousand. Yeah, I was gonna say three thousand. Yeah, three thousand. Three thousand three hundred and thirty-seven. Nice. <laughs> what do you think, Brian? Twenty-eight hundred. Twenty-eight. So we loaded everything through the register and we were ready to see the final price. I guessed 4,000 ringgit and I knew it was going to be cheap, but I was well off mate. I guessed 3,000. I guessed 4,000. We're oh, all way off. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how low that car is. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Rowan? You're pretty good. <laughs> how is it in there? It's hot. Yes. Yeah. It's cool. Thank It's cozy. The two cars were super low, crazy full, and we were already on our next stop. Meat and cheese. I knew there was going to be a lot of filming, but I was mind blown with how much. I love taking videos and photos of my travels, so I was totally in my element. And like Karen said, it's better to have more footage than less. Hey there. <laughs> How's it going? It's still going. <laughs> Steaks. Yeah, that would be good. It would be nice with sausages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got those cheese grillers. Like lamb? Yeah, yeah. Have you got Yoshi? Pressure nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look at this. 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 Look at You can tell you're in Malaysia when you find crazy amounts of dried fish, different types of mushrooms, and weird fungus things. What are these? Oh, it stinks. It's the dry fishy. Fishes. Dry it's fish. the dry fishy. And with enough food and drinks to feed an army, we were ready to head back to Dallas. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> On our way back, we spotted these guys and decided to stay for a little show. And boy, did they give us a show. Look at it. <laughs> we noticed the man of the jungle, and you could say he was feeling a little frisky. Well entertained, us gangsters headed back to the marina. <laughs> Guardian of the beer. We loaded up all the shopping bags on Delos first. And we managed to fit all the beer and wine and also seven of us into the Beast Maggie. Shazam! Awesome job, guys! So, who won the beer guessing competition? Brady guessed 924, Brian guessed 720, Bob's guessed 1000, I guessed 1111, which is really stupid because it's an odd number. <laughs> <laughs> Karen guessed 800, Max 650, and Frida 820. And the winner is, drum roll please! There's 1,008 oh, 1,008. Oh, 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 Thank you. 
Feeling pretty stoked I won the competition, but little did I know what my prize was, to clean all the fruit and veggies. We're really lucky that we have a crew of seven, so with 14 hands, it goes from a crazy mission into a fun, easy job. Basically cleaning all the fruit and veg with uh, water and uh, chlorine, right? Yeah, a little bit of bleach. A little bit of bleach, yeah, yeah chlorine. Uh, to uh, get all the bugs and shit out of it, so that we won't get yeah bugs in the boat, I guess, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's what we're doing. What do you think, Bubsy? I think it's a good idea so we don't get sick. <laughs> More beers! Bill to just swallow it up the beer. <laughs> I've already fit like I think one, two, like six or seven cases of beer just in these two compartments. So it's like a massive storage area. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, we're removing the, the paper because the cockroaches they like the glue, so they lay their eggs here. So we have to remove this and clean this with bleach. And obviously we don't know what the, like what's in it, so then we write on it. So we label them by myself, by hand. Corn curl. Yeah, the curl cones. What are you doing, Karen? Uh, I'm drawing it. <laughs> Going crazy? It's really hard. No, not that much. Not, no space. Getting rid of more cardboard. Get rid of the cockroach eggs. So they, don't, so they don't infest our wine. Then that's how we tell if it's red or white. <laughs> this is the secret wine bill. But did you know about it before? Yeah, I found it when I was oh, yeah, on my yeah, bug destroying mission. So so far we fit like five, twenty-five liters of wine down there. What are you ladies doing? Filling up the fridge with beer. How many do you have down there now? A few hundred? Oh, a lot. <laughs> this bilge in here is like four layers of stacked cans of beer, like all the way up. Like shelves of like. Right, the last spot is under the dishwasher, and hopefully it'll fit everything. I am getting the eggs ready, put in the boat. So I have a damp side of the towel with a little bit of bleach on, and I have a dry side of the towel. Can you hand me all the uh, small cans first? <laughs> yeah. So, so the cockroaches won't go on there? Yes, he's cleaning from cockroach eggs and shit. Yeah. So bleach is the shit for everything. Yes. On board. Kills stuff. Mm. So guys, this is like the first drink we're having together. Oh yeah. yeah. How does it feel? Feel good? Salud. And after all that hard work, let's just say we enjoyed more than just one beer. We had our rigging inspection done for our insurance. Dallas is pretty old, but she's still in really good condition. Fundamentally, it would be wise to get the rigging replaced before setting sail. So we had to decide if we wanted to get it replaced in Thailand or South Africa. You can have a second opinion. That's what I'm suggesting. I mean, the rig obviously needs to be replaced at some point. It's at just, some point. It's just a tough decision whether to do it now or in South Africa because, for me. Yeah. And the main the main reason is is the timing. Yeah, well, you fundamentally, know, it's getting a little bit, a little bit close. If you want to cross, fundamental, you have to cross it now. I think it'd be like at least a month setback. Yes. Maybe yeah. two months, and it's twenty thousand dollars that I don't have. <laughs> uh, give it a nice clean with turpentine. Able to inspect. You weren't able to look at the top. Yeah, fundamental, yes. I don't know. That. That was the best value for 1200 ring ringgit that I've ever spent. <laughs> but yeah. I just don't feel that he was as thorough as he could. I think I do a more. I spend more time up the rig looking at everything and checking the welds and checking the cracks and the pins. And he did barely. I had to ask him to look at the at the backstays. I was like, "Do you want to look at the backstays?" Oh, I might as well. I was like, "Yeah, you should." Before setting sail to Thailand, our goal was to fill up Delos with as much fuel as possible and we were lucky Tulaga Harbour had a marina with a fuel dock. 
it's pretty sweet for any sailor. We actually don't need that much fuel, it's just about 210 liters, but it's kind of such a luxury to get it at an actual fuel dock where we don't have to carry it in jerry jugs. We're gonna take advantage of this. Hmm? Diesel. <laughs> Vin. Diesel. Diesel. What a weird name, huh? <laughs> I know. <laughs> the name's Vin Diesel. So with the rigging inspection done, fuel and oil restocked, food and drinks done, we were ready to check out of Malaysia. The thing about Malaysia, except the chicken shop. That we haven't been sick yet? That we haven't been sick yet. Yeah. Perfect, right? I know, we just stood there and it's like the perfect size. We just have to bleach it because then we'll get rid of all the... And put a line yeah. in here. Look at that. Uh, I found that in the trash. Treasures in the trash. So Brian, leaving Malaysia, what's the best thing except the chicken shop? <laughs> I'm really a fan of Migo Ring. Yeah. 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 And they have some wicked curries here. Yeah. 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 And we're looking forward to some Thai food. Mm. So let's go check out. Yeah. We are leaving Malaysia and going to Thailand. Alright. Pretty We're excited. Yeah, that's so good. Ready to get out of my cow. Yeah, we've been here for a while. Excited. Yeah, we've been here for two weeks now. Because first we were working on the rope for five days. And now I think we've been ten days here or something moving around. Yeah, maybe like one week. Yeah. It's pretty long, but we haven't sailed before, so I'm pretty excited to see what it's like. Yeah. We'd be like, I need a bucket! Mm. <laughs> And do you know where we're going? Yes. To, oh, you mean where exactly? No. <laughs> we'll just let the sound Because yesterday us. we spoke uh, about like Lover's Hall or Kusamani. <laughs> Lover's <like>. Hall. <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? What kind of a sailing trip is this? <laughs> <laughs> is this all? What kind of a trip is this? It is, Brian. Finally, the day is here. Dallas and the crew are ready, and we were all pumped to start the sail to Thailand. Sweet, we're up! How does it feel, guys? Woohoo! <laughs> feels good. How are you yeah. feeling, Max? I'm feeling funny. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Uh, like I think I have the dengue after. fever. Dengue after. Oh no. Yeah, so I'm feeling a bit achy. Oh. But it's fine. It's crazy how fast a week can go by, and I couldn't wait for this adventure. I had so many emotions, but the main emotion was excitement. I reminded myself how amazing this was, taking in a long, deep breath and smiling towards the sunshine. Dallas leaving towards the big blue ocean, and I could hear the waves splashing behind us. Good vibes, reggae tunes, and everyone was smiling. The start of our adventure began. Up next. With the crew complete, we set sail to Thailand on our first cruise of the season. Max ends up in hospital. We stay up all night through a nasty squall and we indulge in our first time massages.
got a wet patch on your ass. Do you think they have the little baby cheeses? Oh shit! I'm taking it down All right now! I'm scared of heights! We arrived in Malaysia. This is me, Bubs or Bubsy, one of the Leighton sisters. I have been travelling for over four years and I was just about to embark on a sailing trip across the Indian Ocean. I was buzzing to start this adventure and I couldn't wait to meet the rest of the Dallas crew. What's going on guys? Just chilling in the backseat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going to the airport to pick up the rest of the crew. So we're really excited. Yeah. It's gonna be good. This is Arnold, my mum's brother from Holland. Him and his wife Kobe have been sailing for over a decade now on their boat drifter. The last time I had seen them both was four years ago and I had no idea that they were in the airport. What an amazing surprise. Previously on Dallas, Frida and Max join his new crew. Dallas is taken out of the ocean, and the crew spend an intense five days of hard work. Bong, 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 bong. Attention all passengers, flight AK2132, Lankawi is boarding at gate B1. Kia ora friends and family, Bubsy here. Yosha Brady and I travelled 30 hours from New Zealand and we finally jet lag. We noticed our brand new sails were not properly sewn so we all got into fixing mode and did some old school hand sewing. With a few sundowners of course. Big support group over here. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's watching Karen so like, yeah, go for it. How does it feel guys? Really good. Time really? to go sailing. Let me get off the dock. So we did a last minute clean, got Dallas all ready, and left Reebok Marina. We were off to Talaga Harbour. Yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Marina office, Marina office, this is Delos. Hey bro. Dude man, how are you? Good bro. Sweet shirt. How are you? Good to see you man. Long time. Yes, long time. Yeah, what a coincidence. Hope you see you too. Good to see you. Oh yeah. So this was it, the crew is now complete, and it felt so unreal. When I met Dallas, she was even more beautiful than I had imagined. I remember walking inside for the first time and thinking, whoa, this is my new home, and I'm pretty sure I forgot about my